Hello everyone, it's me Sam, and today we're going to be going from, we're going to be doing this test run. So we're going from the City Union line to Springburn by the looks of things. So let's just read this and see what we're doing. In 2020, the Class 158 DMU was finally signed off for use on the West Highland line. Today, you are driving a test run as far as Helensburg Upper when the air drill train in front clears. Bell Grove in a couple of minutes, then proceed to Springburn for further instruction. Now, right here is the train to probably is the train to Airdrie. That will be from Valley. Looks at things. Yeah, we presented. Oh, actually, probably back. So, if you guys don't know this about me, I'm a train genius. So, if you want this pack, it's called the Glasgow Northwestern Springburn to Dumbarton or something. Just, just look up Glasgow and it will come up with, like it, like one of those over there. Just pause the video, go on Train Simulator if you've got it, or if not, download it and get that. So today we're driving a train I've been on before in real life called 158735. We're going to be working a test service from the City Union line, which is non-electrified, through to Springburn, and by the looks of things, we'll be going on the North Clyde line again. But we're going to be passing through all stations, connecting up to another one, to Helensburg. Sounds hard, but I can get through. So yeah, anyway, by the looks of things, we have no passengers on here. Like, absolutely none, because we're running ECS. We're not running at all to, you know, Springburn or anything. We're not running any passenger trains today, no. We are running a privatised, like, kind of thing. So, yeah. Right here, we've got... We've got a signal, which is red, as you can see. I'm sorry about the annoying thing, but... I'll put this into forward mode. So that we can at least get a head start. Now, this is in full service. Now, let's just make sure we're doing this right. So, I might turn cab lights on. Let me just try and find that. If anyone knows, yeah, I'm gonna turn cab lights on because cab lights are probably quite good, and I'm gonna turn on instrument lights too, just so we can be safe, like when we're in tunnels and that, so it'll be a lot better. As you can see, the cab is now lit up, and we are pretty soon ready to go to our next stop, which is Springburn. I I'm not sure how to edit these videos, so you guys, I might do a little Q and A. Whilst, like, I might let you guys ask questions in the comments. You can ask any question you want. By the way, Ask Sam 11 is coming out pretty soon, so don't worry about that. Your question. However, our life, like, no. Oh, God. Why do I always have our life in the room? Ask Sam 10's questions will be closed, okay? We will not be tolerating any more questions from Ask Sam 10 or 9. Because you guys are supposed to ask questions on Ask Sam. Like, well, you're supposed to ask questions on Ask Sam 10, not 9, okay? I know you guys are a bit confused and like, oh, Ask Sam 10 is coming out. No, 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 guys. About that, you should all you should all be able to, like, if you're a true fan, then you should be able to, like, know when my due dates are, like, for instance, like, the closure date of, you know, you know what. So, yeah, I also have problems with train simulators, so I can't really turn this off. Now, right here, this is the motion thing. This will go into release once the lights turn green. Oh, it's actually yellow right now, so pretty soon we will be ready for departure to our next stop, which is Springburn. And I'll put this into level two of braking. Like step two. Okay. So over there, that's the electrified line. That's the main line that heads off to like Helensburg Central, Milngai, places like that, Annie's Land, Queen Street, Low Level, Partick, stuff like that. So this, this way. Oh, they're ready to go. So let's put this all into release. Okay everyone, so I know it's a bit quiet but 
and to say so that you guys can hear me a bit more that we can be a bit you know so I can so that you guys can hear me so uh, yeah up here we're just joining up the main line that red light is for other passenger no this is not a passenger line I meant to say freight this is not a pa main passenger line you might be like oh Sam but you're driving the passenger train I am but it's for ECS movements I'm slowing the train down so that we can head and pass through Belgrove at a reasonable speed I'm trying to teach you all how to actually I have to actually drive a train like I'm driving. So, yeah, once this speeding sign goes off, because I can see that, then I will actually, I'll crank it up to about three. Again. Now, let's just make sure we're doing this right. So right here, this is number three. I'm going to be changing to that so just a moment okay so let's just crank it up to three the lazy way right here this is a wheel we weird tunnel pattern because if you have a look well just about because on my map there's a there's a weird tunnel pattern, and you guys will be surprised when you see it. You might be like, but that's how Scotland's railways are. Yeah, I've been on this line before. I've actually passed through this station in my life. And if you hear my dad speaking, it's an Alexa announcement. Alexa, say hello to my viewers. Say hello to guys. Say hello. Thank you. Okay everyone, so we're going through Belgrove station at speed. Well not exactly at speed, but like our normal moderate kind of speed. Now as you this scenario is a real scenario that is happening in real life. So I'm just doing it in train zone. These trains are actually heading to the West Highland Line in like not far away. So they will be heading off to like Helensburg Upper and places like that and Gilkhead and Port William over in Malay. They'll be heading to this like So as you can see we are going up this way. The other way is the Airdrie Bathgate line, which I unfortunately for some reason cannot go up. But if I could, I would definitely do that for you guys in another scenario. Like if it was like a free roam scenario. But anyway. We will be scheduled to stop in Springburn operation because we're going up exactly 25 miles per hour. And as you can see, this is a weird tunnel pattern. Like there's different tunnels. I'll count the wishes for you guys. In fact, you guys can get wishes too. Whoosh. 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 So everyone, right here, as you can see, we are passing through another station called Duke Street. You might have heard of it if you live in Glasgow. If any of you guys live in Glasgow, then please let me know if you know any of the stations along here. If you guys are like a Glaswegian train ex expert. I'm not Glaswegian if you guys are going to ask. I'm not. I don't have the Glaswegian accent. I am actually known as a bairn, which means that I live in the Falkirk area. I'm in the central belt, basically. I live in the centre of Scotland. 
If you guys are wondering what Scotland's like, it's actually quite a good country. Songs like Caledonia make you really proud of living there. It makes me proud of living there, Caledonia. You guys might think that we walk around with bagpipes and that and play them. We don't, actually. We are at Some of us are bagpipe experts, but like half the country can't even play bagpipes. So, yeah, there's your answer. If you guys were going to ask me, do you guys sometimes walk around the streets playing bagpipes? We don't. Well, some of us might do if you really love bagpipes. But that's really rare. Like, you you only see bagpipes really on special occasions like Robert Martin's Day or even Christmas and Easter or something. Like, traditional Christmas. Like, sorry, Christian Catholic calls and stuff. My, my granny was Catholic, so... So I never... I was never Catholic. My mum was, but nowadays she's... nearly the same, I guess. So yeah, my granny, who's now deceased, was a Catholic person. She wanted my mum to Yeah, that's right, guys. If you guys were wondering, because you've probably seen my granddad before, were wondering where's my granny. My granny's dead. No, not Gran. Like, Gran nearly misses her boss. Not that one. My other granny died when I was about one and a half. I was a talker. So, I do remember you guys are wondering what that video of me was, like, what exactly it was, me. it was me on my baby gym, if you want, if it's like a mobile or not, it's not, but it's designed to look like a mobile, that's why it's called a baby gym, it's supposed to encourage babies to kick or to play, my mum was like, you playing, you playing, like that, every time I used it, did you, any of you guys have anything like that? Well, leave your answers in the comment box below because I, I'd like to know if you guys had any toys that were a bit strange. Because I definitely did. I had a, I, I had the mobile. It was like a wee jungle thing. I had a, something else. What was it? I had a. I had this little caterpillar where you pulled it on a string. Its legs would move. So. Now, pretty soon we're going to be pulling into Springburn for our first instruction. So, I'm going to put this into step one breaking. Even though we're like a mile away from Springburn, we're about 99 seconds from pulling into it, so. Yeah, we're just joining up with the main line, I guess. So, because of, like, you know. I'll put it into release actually. So, so it took us about 13 minutes from the City Union line to Springburn. Now that's because it's a bit further away, it's in the line. It's because Train Simulator for me is acting a bit glitchy, so that's why it took a bit longer. And also the train's only going like its maximum speed. Choo choo. If you guys don't know, I am a train boy. If you guys saw my Edinburgh Glasgow video, then this is a video for you. I unlock. I actually bought this pack, like the scenario pack. I didn't make the scenario myself, I bought it. I don't know how to make scenarios. If any of you guys know, please leave your answers in the comment box below. Because I really want to know how to make one. So I want to make a stunt where you can go from like, Glasgow Prince Street to Stunt. Electrified so we can get like electric trains too on it. So that's a scenario I'm announcing. I'm gonna do that soon. I've got to do a service from Stirling to Glasgow Queen Street as soon as I build it. So this will be a scenario I will make myself. I'm gonna create Stirling to Queen Street. So you'll get to you get to like drive trains from Glasgow Queen Street to Stirling via Cumbernauld. And you'll get to do it via the mainline crawl. That's my announcement. That's so I'm not be coming in the near future, so 
yeah, you'll probably get to use that pack too. I might release it to um, Train Simulator because I, I think you get to sell your packs too. You get to put it online for people to buy, I think. Yes. As you might have heard, Teespring's also changed to Spring. Just Spring. Just Spring. And I'm kind of pissed off about that, actually. I, I'm sorry about my language. It's just sometimes when I'm like that, my language can build up a bit. My language can be a bit strong. You might not know it about me, but sometimes I get really mad I actually end up swearing on my channel. Once one of my old channel rules were no swearing, but nowadays you can say some other words. Like you can say hell on my channel now, you can say ass, you can say piss, you can say you can say any of those. You can say those words, but no F word please actually. I know I know it sounds like I'm making channel rules, but I'd rather you didn't swear on it because my channel is rated PG, it's not rated it's not rated R or N C seventeen or X, obviously. So I want you all to be aware that my channel is rated PG PG or PG thirteen depending on like what's going on. I'm just about twelve well, I'm gonna be twelve in in actually just three months away, so I'm three months from actually being twelve and for being eleven and a half, so that's a big change for me that I'm gonna be older. I'm going to high school. But as soon as I get into high school, I hope that I will get good luck there. I hope that I won't get bullied. I hope that yeah, my big hopes for high school are no bullying. So everyone, as you might see that we're just about to pull into Springburn. But we're slowing down for Springburn. So we came from the City Union line. This video is going to be quite long, so if you guys can't handle long videos, I'm sorry. That's just how the video is going to have to be. As you can see, we are now actually in Springburn. Welcome to Springburn. So we are actually on, going to be on our way to... Springburn. So yeah, these kind of scenarios happen in real life. Not all of them are just scenarios. Some of these actually happen in real life and you have to complete them via video game. So we are currently just kind of, we're in full service braking so I hope that we'll go into Springburn as safe as we can. Now it's not an option to, to open the doors, you have to. Springburn as you can see has four platforms so Welcome to the big station of Spring. This is one of the biggest stations on the North Clyde line, so I'd like you to be aware of that too. And also one of the biggest on the Cumbernauld line, which is a line we may be taking later. We are going to be heading to Helensburg Upper after this. I don't know why I just didn't go from Helensburg Central. Okay, so right here, as you can see, oh, there's an option to open. We don't really need to open the doors. This is an ECS. So we're heading off to Eastfield, everyone. So as you can see, it says not in service. It's a bit like the London Underground, the underground we have in Scotland. The only underground we have in Scotland is the Glasgow subway. We we love the Glasgow subway. I go to Glasgow, I'm not a Glaswegian, but I really love Glasgow. Glasgow is actually better than Edinburgh, in my opinion. I'm sorry to those people watching in Edinburgh. Okay, so our next instruction is to couple up to class 158740, which is like a number five difference. Okay everyone, so we are now departing Springburn for Eastfield siding 3 and we will be coupling up to 158740. 
Now you guys will be seeing how good I am at train sim. So here's the interior of the train. I know it's got passengers, but that's just how the model is built. I wish I could actually design trains on this. If I ever become a designer for this place, then sure. Now this part of Springburn is used for like trains to Glasgow Queen Street and stuff like that. So this is actually a way I've never taken before. Whoa! We're speeding. Better crank it down a bit. Hey, who's your favourite character from the Loud House? Me, Lenny. Or Laurie, I, I don't know. Lenny or Laurie, I don't know. Now, who's a fan of the House of Mouse? Yes, me, I am. I quite like the House of Mouse. It's actually better than Mickey Mouse Clubhouse in more in like certain ways. You guys might know this about me, but I like Mickey Mouse Clubhouse because it's part of my childhood. I've always loved Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. But I'd say that House of Mouse is actually a lot funnier. Like, I'm not saying I hate the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, I'm just saying that it's not as good. Like, I love how, like, Mickey tries to prove he's strong or something, and then, like, apparently he's not strong, which is pretty funny. You ain't strong, boy! I don't know what it's called. Yeah. You guys might think of me as the youngest beyonder, but that, that place might go to someone else. I actually don't know who that could be. But I think I'm one of the youngest, but... Who was the Waybaloo growing up? That sh that weird show about flying animal. Fly flying animals didn't even have the ability to fly in real life. Let's turn this engine off. I think, just to let us slow down a bit. I think we should pull the emergency brake. What do you guys think? Yeah. Oh. Oh god guys, I almost said the S word on on YouTube. Like almost said the S word on YouTube. I said ship. Okay. I I probably had to edit that out. God. Dad, don't come into my room, I'm doing a video. Oh, shower. Apologize, but Dad, shut up, I'm doing a video. Shut up. Okay, everyone, so. So, we're gonna have to couple up. with this 158. We just need to make sure that we're in place to see if we can actually do it. And once we actually Okay, fly the emergency brake. Just make sure we're getting close, okay? I'm I'm sorry like half of this video is like that. Like this, but it's just I'm scared in case something happens. I think that's bound for our easel. Okay, everyone. So all we need to do now is connect. Okay, so all we need to do is move a wee bit. Just slowly connect. Oh my god, 
guys, I'm actually scared in case something happens. Okay everyone, so looks like we are connected. Wait. Let me make sure. I think there's a way of checking. Okay. Okay everyone, so... We just need to move a wee bit. Okay everyone, so... So right here we are just going to depart Eastfield. So... I'll just put this into forward motion. We're going to be doing a run to Helensburg Upper. Okay, so so all we need to do is just each well, we've done it. We've successfully done our task. Well, two tasks. We went to. How's that speeding? Oh yeah, because it's a depot. Look, it doesn't matter. I'm not gonna crash or anything. Okay, everyone. So we are going. At a good speed out of Eastfield Depot. So right here we got 158740. Along with 158735, which is a unit I've actually travelled on before from Glasgow Good Trade to Anisa. That's a coincidence because this is the path I've got. Okay. So right here, that is the Annie's Land way, or the West Highland. Okay. What, you want my engine off or something? A holes? I mean, come on. What's the worst could, that could happen? Crashing? You poor, we're not gonna crash. Okay, everyone, so. You poor! Look at this baby, Mario. I do a horrible movement impression. Give me your house paint. I almost swore my channel actually today. And also when I was in Turkey. Turkey! I'd say that Turkey is actually quite a good place. I'll tell you. <sighs> okay, so. And Kyler's up Springburn. Now I think all we need to do is just wait here at a signal and then it'll turn green and we can get past. Simple. Okay, so this has so far been about a 30 minute journey and then it'll be even more when we get to Helensburg Upper. That'll take about 20 minutes. So it take like 50 minutes this whole session. Proceed to Dalmere when the traffic on the mainland has passed and the signal is cleared. 
Okay, so everyone. Once it says that it's clear, we're going to be proceeding to Dalmuir Platform 1, and then we'll be heading off to Helensburg Upper via Dumbarton Central. I know that winch screen is a bit annoying, but I'll tell you, it's actually not that bad. This is good. Peed on me. I can't for some reason go into the back engine. Okay, so the signal is red at the moment. Oh, pardon me. But pretty soon we're going to be heading off to like Dalmuir, well, passing through Springburn, Barnhill, Alexandria Parade, Duke Street, Belgrove, High Street, Glasgow, Queen Street, Low Level, Charing Cross, Partick, Hindland, maybe Annie's Language, Tundra and Chapel, Drum Ryan Singer, uh, or maybe Jordan Hill, Scottsdale Hill, Garst Garden, York and Clyde Bank. So, you guys may have heard of Clyde Bank, it's a place we're going to be passing through, sure. Now, let me ask you. Who had an etch sketch when you were little? I had an etch sketch. My etch sketch was like a Mickey Mouse clubhouse. No, not Mickey Mouse clubhouse. Mickey Mouse himself. And I think his eyes moved when you moved the little handles. So, it's actually not a bad one. I used to write people's names on it and then I go Gran or Papa or Mum or Dad when I was little. So uh did any of you guys have something like that? Like, did you have a themed edge sketch? Because the edge sketch I had was like a Mickey Mouse. You definitely twist and put handles and you write people's names and you Back to oh, I'll send you a photo on what it looked like because in case you guys owned it, it didn't play any noises or anything, you just kind of moved it in its eye. I hate this too. Red chest sketch. Or something like that. I don't know how the commercial went. But I remember I used to go, it's called Toys R Us, Toys R Us, Toys R Us. Who liked the Toys R Us when we were little before closed? Honestly, I loved going to Toys R Us. I used to always think Toys R Us was still open, but then, yeah. Who liked, like, who's ever been to England? Because I loved going to England. Okay, see you in part two. Okay, let me just save this and then quit. 
denn auch 